job oriented blsi coach hi i'm shiv kumar i founded maven silicon with the vision of producing highly skilled chip designers for the semiconductor industry before founding maven silicon i worked in various fields fields like electrical engineering academia and semiconductors for more than 25 years in the semiconductor industry i worked for the top pda companies snopsys cadence and siemens cda Maven Silicon is a top class VLSI and embedded systems training services company in India. We provide various VLSI and embedded system courses for academia and industry. Our journey started with training new college graduates on chip design. Continuing this incredible journey for more than 15 years, we have deployed more than 5000 chip designers in the semiconductor industry so far. Also, in this journey we collaborated with tier 1 global chip makers and fabless ip companies as their preferred training partner and maven silicon has also been designated as an approved training partner by arm uk and risk for international usa with this domain expertise we emerged as a center of excellence in vlsi and embedded systems for academia and industry in this video i'm going to explain how we designed this job oriented vlsi course and how it can help you to get you a dream job in the semiconductor industry all right basically maven silicon bridges the gap between academia and industry look at here you learn various concepts as part of your engineering course that's what makes you qualified as an electrical or electronics engineer to work in the semiconductor industry so what we do at maven silicon we help you to grow as an experienced vlsi engineer how we do that look at here we teach various vlsi technologies and methodologies when you join maven silicon initially we take you through a foundation course this foundation course is composed of various modules modules like soc design asic design flow digital design risk v processor Verilog RTL coding and synthesis. Once you complete this foundation course, then we will introduce you to a particular domain. Based on the course, we will train you on a domain, particular domain like design and verification, ASIC verification, design for testing, and physical design. Also in this course. we will do a mini project for every major module at the end of the course obviously you are going to do a final project industry standard project that's how you are going to explore how we deal with the real time vlsi projects in the industry at the end of the course there is a business communication module in this module we teach you various things things like communication skill interpersonal skill how you can participate in the interview that's how you are going to gain confidence to face any tough technical interviews also in this course you will use both snopsys and siemens eda tools that's how you are going to grow as an experienced vlsi engineer all right vlsi design and verification course in this vlsi rn course you will learn various methodologies methodologies like vlsi soc design AC and FPGA design flows, RTL design, UBM universal verification methodology for ASIC verification, formal verification, and assertion based verification. You will also learn various other things like Python and Git. There will be various modules and languages. You will be introduced to a module called digital design. To learn digital design, you will deal with a case study, Risk Five processor. that's how you are going to learn how to deal with design architecture and micro architecture once you become familiar with design then you will be introduced to a language language called verilog html you will deal with both simulation and synthesis and once you become familiar with rtl coding register transfer level coding you will be introduced to a, a language called system verilog system verilog for verification and once you become familiar with system verilog you will be introduced to a methodology called ubm universal verification methodology that's primarily for 
ASIC and FPGA verification. Also, you will learn various other modules like FPGA architecture, CMOS, CDC, and STA. There could be various electives, electives like DFT, low power design, and AMS. And as I explained, you will do a mini project for every major module, modules like Verilog, System Verilog, and UVM. And for the final project, you will deal with SOC-based protocols. As part of AMBA, Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture, you will deal with protocols like AXI, AHB, and APB. You will also deal with various interface protocols like SPI, UART, GPIO, and I2C. Also, we will help you to build domain expertise in various fields like a RISC-V processor, wireless, for example, Bluetooth, and various other things. In this course, you will use both Synopsys and Siemens EDA tools. Throughout the course, you will deal with Linux operating system, Python for scripting, and various other things like Git and Perl. Industry standard projects. Take a look. There are various projects. You can deal with both RTL design and verification. The project will happen through various phases. Initially, you will understand the spec. Then you will deal with design or verification. It depends on the project you choose. If it is a design project, then you will deal with understanding the architecture. Then you will have to create the micro architecture for every module. And then you will also deal with RTL top level module, that's where you need to understand how to instantiate the lower level modules in the top level module and how to build the IP or subsystem. For the verification, you will define a verification plan as part of the plan. You will define various test scenarios. You will also list out the test cases. You will also define the self-checking strategies and you will also define the coverage model. In addition to all the things, you will have to create the test bench architecture. And once you complete the design or verification planning, then you will deal with RTL or test bench implementation. In this phase, you will deal with either RTL coding or test bench coding. You will deal with Verilog for RTL coding and you will deal with UVM for test bench coding. And then finally, you will deal with regression testing. As part of the regression testing, you will run various test cases. That's how you are going to generate the coverage. And then finally, you will merge all the coverage database. And that's how you are going to generate the overall coverage. You will use this coverage to sign up the verification process. All right. Some testimonials for your reference. Thank you.